Hey there, Dollface. Brett Davis here at the Asia Life Private Detective Agency. Uh, look, we're all going to spend a little more time indoors, so I want to talk some today about books and movies again. Specifically, one of my favorite genres of books and movies, uh, and that is L.A. Noir. Okay, if you're not sure what that is, it basically comes from the French term film noir, which just means a dark film, right? They're generally things characterized by uh, a very intricate plot, um, uh, sort of a very cynical anti-hero, the femme fatale, uh, really punchy dialogue that really moves the, uh, the story along, and kind of an overall existential philosophy, like what is the point of this life? So, L.A. Noir is really just a subset of that. It's those sort of stories set in L.A. Uh, and I have a particular fondness for them. Uh, why does that work? Um, because it's L.A. It's perfect. Um, you got the bright lights of Hollywood, the bright lights and the big dreams. So then you've got, you've got to have the counterpoint, which is the dark underbelly uh, and, and, and the dash dreams. So where to begin. We start with the granddaddy of them all, Raymond Chandler. Just, just a brilliant novelist. He was writing sort of mostly in the 30s and 40s. Um, great books. He really is the father of like the series of novels that star the same detective. So if, say you like Ian Rankin's Inspector Rebus or um, Henning Mantel's uh, Kurt Verlander, that sort of stuff, there's tons of them these days, right? You can draw a straight line from them to, to Raymond Chandler and his, his detective, Philip Marlowe. So he wrote a bunch of books, one of my favorites. Um, probably the top three, The Big Sleep, The Long Goodbye, and Farewell My Lovely. Particularly Farewell My Lovely. Just a beautiful book. Like, yes, it's, it's, it's crime, it's detectives, but it's just beautifully written as well. So, uh, you know, if you like your crime fiction, go back and revisit Raymond Chandler. Now, they were made into movies. Probably most famously, 1946, The Big Sleep, Humphrey Bogart, Lauren Bacall. Wonderful movie, directed by Howard Hawks. Um, and Farewell My Lovely, made in 1975, with the always fucking awesome um, Robert Mitchum. I could probably tell a whole bunch of stories about Robert Mitchum, but He's just a cool dude. Look him up. Uh, he was basically a hobo as a young man riding the rails and just wandered into Hollywood and ended up in the movies. You know, a big weed smoker too, Robert Mitchum. Love the weed. Um, okay, who else then? So uh, Bogart was famously in, uh, in the Maltese Falcon 2, which was written by Dashiell Hammett, who was the other big guy in the 30s writing these sort of uh, L.A. noir books. Um, so Humphrey Bogart was really the king. Uh, moving along, other writers I really like in the genre. Um, James Elroy, obviously very famous. L.A. Noir is his shtick. Uh, unusual writing style, really machine gun like. Da, 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 da. Uh, a little bit hard to get a handle on, but once you do, uh, you'll love it. Um, I just read L.A. Confidential, which was a smashingly good movie from 1997. Uh, starring Kevin Spacey and Russell Crowe and um, a couple other guys whose names are escaping me right now. Um, fantastic movie. Uh, who else have we got? Um, Walter Mosley. He wrote the Easy Rollins books. Uh, great series of books. There's 14 in all. Strangely enough, only one has been made into a movie and that was Devil in a Blue Dress starring Denzel Washington, uh, 1995, I believe. Uh, excellent. Um, man needs a drink. Who else? Oh, okay, these aren't books, but the movies of Shane Black. Shane Black is a, a screenwriter, director, well, now a director, um, but he totally lives in the L.A. noir zone, so if you're, if you're running out of things to watch on Netflix, here's a couple of recommendations. He did the first two Lethal Weapon movies, which are total L.A. noir. Okay, don't worry about three and four, they're fucking bullshit, they turn into comedy 
action buddy cop films. But the first two were dark, very dark. You know, Mel Gibson's rigs like tried to kill himself a couple of times. Um, so he wrote those great movies. He didn't get a chance to direct until much later, but he did it so fucking well. Really underappreciated film called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, starring Robert Downey Jr. and Val Kilmer. It's on Netflix. I just watched it the other night. Totally has that snappy dialogue, convoluted plot, um, darkness. It's it's absolute L.A. noir and it's brilliant. Uh, a later film, more recent one, is called The Nice Guys. Um, again, about a couple of uh, kind of detectives, you know, freelancers in, in L.A. in the 70s. Again, dealing with the underbelly of the movie business. Uh, stars Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling. There's too many Ryans in Hollywood, you know? Just like there's too many Chris's, like Chris Pine, Chris Pat, Chris Hemsworth, like, fucking hell, Jesus Christ. Um, so they're great movies. I highly recommend checking them out. Um, and lastly, the big L.A. Noir shout out. Uh, you may have seen it. If you have, it's probably years ago. 1974, Roman Polanski, Jack Nicholson, this is Chinatown. Chinatown, fucking great movie. Absolutely great movie. It was the last movie Polanski made before he had to get out of the country. Um, yeah. Uh, but those are just a few suggestions. There's lots of books. There's lots of movies out there to watch. But uh, a little bit of crime, a little bit of dirty, while you're safe, on your sofa. It's always a wonderful thing. All right. Until next time, take her easy.